What's up, my telemetry babes? So welcome back to Basic EKG Episode 4 with your girl, Angel. So today we'll be learning about PJCs, which stands for Premature Junctional Contractions. I know, I know you're thinking, another one? Yes, another one. But this is the last premature contraction that we'll be talking about. So PJCs come from the AV nodes, and you can have them regardless if you're healthy, young, old, unhealthy, it doesn't matter. But unlike PACs and PVCs, they're not as common. So take a look at these examples they gave you and then we'll get into how to identify them. When you see a PJC on the monitor, they are really not that alarming unless one, the patient has a history of heart issues, and two, the PJCs start to become more frequent. That's when you need to tell the nurse. So as I stated, PJCs, premature junctional contractions, come from the AV node. And the number one hallmark of identifying a PJC is the P wave. Because the P wave is going to be inverted, which means upside down, or you won't be able to identify it at all. So if you look at this PJC, first, first things first always identify the underlying rhythm. So you can see this underlying rhythm is definitely regular. Just without measuring, I can see that it has one P wave, it's upright, it's one and one and the same. So obviously this is a sinus rhythm, but this PJC is disrupting the normal rhythm, okay? So if you look here, you can't really see the P wave. So to me, I'm saying like, oh, it's non-existent, but it's probably hiding within the, the QRS. But regardless, if you can't identify the P wave or if it's inverted, upside down then that's a pjc so another hallmark with pjc's is that it does not disrupt the ventricular conduction pattern so when i say that that means the qrs so if you look at this pjc the qrs is exactly the same as the rest of the qrs is and if you look at this rhythm same thing the qrs does not change it's just the p wave okay so another thing as i stated you have to make sure you identify the underlying rhythm because you don't want to mistake this as something as AFib or a sinus arrhythmia because you think it's irregular because it's not. It's just that premature beat. For PJCs, they can happen before the QRS, during the QRS, and after the QRS. So it can hide within the QRS or it can be after the QRS and that's why you might not see a P wave, but that's just something that you need to remember. Now, when you start to see PJCs, they're not as common as I stated before as PACs and PVCs. So that's something that you want to alert the nurse about because frequent PJCs can be an issue because one, it can turn into SVT or, or it can turn into a junctional rhythm. And we definitely do not want that. And especially if the patient has a history of heart issues and they're starting to have PJCs, you definitely want to alert the nurse.